Hey everyone, it's Mark again. It's the uh, the guy that lives at the emergency veteran shelter who's working for Cindy. I think I've already talked about that. I like to be a curmudgeon and gripe a lot. No, I don't like to gripe. No. I want to be positive. So today I've come to San Jose City College, the home of the Jaguars. Yeah. Their mascot is the Jaguars. So this is in San Jose. It's near Meridian. It's uh, Bascom. So it borders Bascom and uh, and the 280. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see the campus map. The so Bascom will be on the bottom, and 280 is going to be at the side. So switching to this. There you go. See that campus map? So, the football diamond is right next to the, the uh, you can see the sports complex, and you can see the, the student center, it says SC. So that's where we are, with a big star. So we're close to the uh, football, and they got two garages over here. Most of the students park over here and then walk on through. Um, it's very limited sometimes in the, on the student parking. They've got another student parking here. I'll be probably parking over there uh, when I take anatomy. Um, and I still have to take the anatomy. So I took this for a full year, um, but I wasn't full time. So I only took a few classes, uh, English and history, and uh, philosophy classes. So I took a couple philosophy classes in English and history. And I still have to take my 1B, and I was just up talking to a counselor about that. I wish it was for free, but I'm going to have to pay 140 bucks or so. You have to pay money, even at a community college. But uh, lucky for me, it's not too much. I can probably handle $140 of my budget, even though I'm living in a shelter. So, you can see it's a pretty, they have theater, all kinds of, you know, it's for transfer. So this, you trans, you can transfer right into San Jose State if you can get the transfer credits completed. So, I've got, uh, I don't need to take any phys ed because I'm ex-military. And that's over and done with. And I'm walking now and I talk about those things. To most people, I, I'll talk about how their body works. And I was just in there talking, talking to somebody about the pantry, food pantry in it doing a fast so most students are fasting and because they don't have enough money for food and they don't understand the food to begin with and if you do things right you don't need much to eat um, proteins important though eggs eggs have gotten so expensive makes you want to go out and steal a chicken okay so that's it that's it for right now I'm gonna go in and talk about the building uh, I'm not even gonna turn it off I'm gonna turn around so, let's just turn around and talk about the building. There we go. Nice big building. Student, student center. It's called the student center. Doesn't look like it have much windows, but there's plenty of light inside. So we'll go inside and talk about the, the door here. It's supposed to automatically open. Doesn't automatically open. It goes automatic out. Doesn't go automatic in. So it's best bet is to make the, make the door on the right. So that's it for now. Okay, just a quick one. There's student health services here. Um, I don't know if they're actually using this right now, but the, the semester is running. So they, they did have a free semester. I got to check in and check out for employees. Now press the button. Yeah. They're open. They want you to press the button to get in. I got bathrooms. You have to use the restroom while you're here. So over here is where you get your books. It's a bookstore, campus store. You got all kinds of things in here. I think I got a shirt once, but I don't remember what happened to it. But the important thing is the books in the back. So I think the shelves are mainly empty now because the classes are busy. 
They've not been there for a while. Okay. Got the college times. Oh. So they got their own newspaper. Student body candidates. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me go back. There's a there's a cafeteria back in the back. We'll go back in the back and take a look at the cafeteria. This is a broadcast booth. They have a radio station here. They used to have this cyber cafe and it used to be humming pretty well, but they, they're not using it right now and they don't even have anybody broadcasting. This is the first semester back after COVID. You can see over here where they've got the Athletic Center. Now you have to take some courses to get into transfer to San Jose State. I don't need to take them. Ex-military guys, I can get those written off. This is all closed down. You can come in here and get coffee when you're operating. And then have a seat. I just got to I don't have too much here. Machines. No real food today. Well, in this kiosk where you can get your mask. Okay, so uh, I showed you that part. Kind of important to know where to get coffee and drinks and stuff. I wouldn't sit there and try to get your classwork done. They got a library. I'll tell you that about that in a minute. And we go over here. We've got financial aid. And uh, they have this thing called the accessibility office. We've got offices upstairs. Different offices. NAMI. we got this NAMI kiosk upstairs. That's for mentally ill people. We got tutoring services. So this is the accessibility. Um, I've been in there once, just helping somebody out. I was a driver for a person before. Not quite sure what this little thing is about, but usually it's like a little kiosk for something. We got another set of restrooms right here. So you can see financial aid, and that's where you get your records. Student records are right there. That's where you get your, your numbers, and that's where you can check on your application. Financial aid's right there. And then upstairs is the counseling section. Section. And uh, once you get registered, and you're, you have your class, and you get your student student body card right here where the information booth is um, and the student council is, uh, is upstairs they got the main place upstairs for student council so that's it for this uh, this building here I'm going to walk out and talk about the uh, the uh, Chavez Cesar Chavez Library for San Jose City College. The library, if you're a student, once you get your student body card, then you're allowed to go in and, and use the facilities. And then you have a ton of computers you can just check out and use temporarily. They have a, a printing station there. It doesn't cost you but for the print. So you, you, you have your student body card and you have a credit card and you can use that that uh, printing station from the computer so if you're going to do stuff just use like google cloud and then send it over from google cloud to the printer and then it's all printed out for you and that's what i used to do i never really sat down and did any homework 
at these computers. I always did it on my laptop somewhere else. But I come in and it, it was on the quad and I could get it printed out here at the library. So, I think this is a, a three story, but most of the books are in first story and second story. I don't want to talk. I, no, no the, the bottom floor is mainly for tutoring and stuff like that. You get tutoring done. Usually most libraries are set up that way on college campuses. You can do tutoring and stuff in the, in the college library. Um, yeah, I remember Dan's in Foothill. You know, the the place where I just showed you, a cafeteria. Yeah, you can sit down there and discuss things, but usually that's not what we did. So this is Cesar Chavez Library, first and second floor, and third floor is uh, the staff offices. So they got teleconferencing, tutoring rooms. So um, this is a smaller college. So De Anne's is a pretty large college. Uh, Foothill too, they're both, they're both pretty large colleges. This is a relatively, for the size of the city, this is a small college. Um, but you get more interactions with the uh, the professors. They actually have PhDs. Most of the, stu the students, they get well treated here. You have smaller classes and you get more time with the instructors. And that's one thing I like about it. You don't really get that first year of college at uh, some place like San Jose State. They're usually the, the, they're so crowded that you can't get in to talk to the instructor at all. And, but these these uh, instructors here are top notch. So you can see right over here, they've got classrooms over here. These are for uh, philosophy. And then they've got English just on the other side. They've got English classes and, uh, and, and history. So mainly these two buildings right next to the library are the ones I took. That's, that's one of the main entrances right there. Um, they got like, different events. If you're a student, you can go to these events. They're very interesting. And, and a lot of times they're open to everybody. Monday, April 18th. And, and that's Monday, April 18th. It's 11 for, to 1 o'clock happening now. It says happening now. I don't know this person. The event will be on Indian. Oh, he's an Indian guy. Uh, so I don't know this at all. Let's see, they got this running today. Scavenger hunt. Monday scavenger hunt. Okay. So it's a day after... Day after Easter. And they've got this Indian broadcast <coughs> going on. Okay. So, I don't... It doesn't say where. It just says outside Mita Center. I don't know that place. The Midas. Okay. So this is this area is like a quad. But it, it, they have this. Uh, this is the phys ed center over here on the on the left, like a gymnasium. And then uh, you can see, yeah. So they they've got a big. It seems like every college I go to has a bigger. Thing for athletics and what you would expect, but they're like super big. So you see, this is main gymnasium. Can you see that? So you have to have physical ed. Got to get the credits for physical ed, and I've already got them because I was military. So those things I don't need anymore. But uh, most people don't understand how important that you 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 need the green grassiness and this just came out during COVID this helps you with the uh, antioxidation in your cells so when COVID comes along you don't die and most people don't understand about getting out and walking in the sun and getting into a park like saying where you can get that sun and during a regular year this is just so crowded this is not a regular year so you don't hardly see anybody, the classes are running, but not, not too much. Okay. So, 
this is mainly the regular like English and history and, and uh, just on the other side they have theater on the other side so this is kind of a, a neat quad here there's a lot of activity right here because it's close to the close to the main buildings in the, the library and stuff and so that's going to be it for me I the the medical stuff is on the other side. We just saw, I don't know if I cut that on camera, but nursing students walk by, you know, dentist, dentistry. Those kind of things are on the other side. I, I kind of like the way this is set up compared to the foothill because foothill is up in the in the mountains. You have to walk a lot of stairs to get up to the classes. And the athletic buildings are kind of spread out to a point where, yeah, everything's down, down at parking level. And the main classes are up high. You really have to walk up to the classes um, to get to English or anything else. Uh, but this, you know, you're you're closer to parking at the uh, at City College than you are at those at Foothill. You take an English 1A or a history class, and uh, you're closer to those classes where you park. You don't have to walk a long ways. Although walking is, is good, um, it's better to get this green reflective infrared park-like setting. So that's what I like the most about this this college. It's small, smaller classes, and then uh, then again uh, the uh, it's just uh, nice to be out in the sun. Oh. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to give it up. I'm not into sports anymore like I was. I used to be big time on sports, and now I'm not anymore. Com competition? Well, that kind of competition, you know, you, you look at football players, and they end up with brain problems. I'm not into that kind of competition anymore. I'm not out to be the most hit guy. Or they get a lot of money doing that, too, because people watch the games and... I'm not quite, I, I like football up to a point. I, I'd rather go to a baseball game like the San Jose Giants at Municipal pay, Park where I can sit right behind the plate and mess with the mind of the pitcher on the opposite side where I'm shouting long enough he can hear me. And that really, yeah, I've done that a few times, really mess with his head. So the pitchers, they get distracted. Um, from the fans, so yeah, I haven't been ever been kicked out, but uh, it's funny what I do. I talk about balls and strikes. Uh, so I've said enough. You know, this has come out to be 14 minutes of garbage, garbly gook. So we're done right now. I'm finished talking about. It. I'm gonna go back and read the newspaper. <laughs>